Chell Apieg, who does all the marketing for Leo Palace, uh, because Leo Palace is starting up their brunch again, and they're starting it with Easter brunch. How cool is that? Good morning, Michelle. Morning, Chris. Morning, everyone. Wow. So of all the uh, times to start back up your brunch, you're going to start it up on uh, Easter. That's very exciting. Yes, it actually is. And, and we're actually starting brunch with a new style because, you know, we've had to be creative on keeping, you know, our people safe. Right. So I have to I have to note that this is not the traditional brunch that everyone is going to be used to. This is not you get in line and you make your food or people, you know, they stand there and they serve you or anything like that. We wanted to do something. Well, Chef Cheeto and his team at Italiano um we'll be doing something pretty fun and new so everyone sits down at you know at their tables and his team will cart around the buffet servings to you so they you don't go anywhere you just sit there and you know um they bring all the choices right to your table you get to choose and then they move on and bring you the next choice so uh, I had to make sure that I point that out so right. that people aren't expecting a, a long line of, you know, a table yeah. of food. Yeah, because if they were expecting a long line of table of food and they just heard what you said, I'm pretty sure they're way happier now because that's one yeah. thing I didn't like about uh, when we kind of went back to the, you know, what the new normal or, or whatever. I liked it when uh, people serve us. Like, that sounds great to me. I mean, that really sounds like some VIP treatment. You just sit at the table and they're bringing around the carts and you're like, hey, give me some of that. Give me some of that. Absolutely. And that's that's the experience we want to give you. Um, you know, we've seen lines, we've seen the clustering, and it just makes people that are still very cautious, very uncomfortable. Um, there are people like, you know, myself, who I'm a little bit more open to getting back to normal quicker. Mm -hmm. I, I don't mind. Uh, I don't mind, you know, if someone is less than six feet away from me, but we do respect that the people, there are still people that are very cautious. So we want to give the experience to both um, people who are a little bit more comfortable and a little people who are cautious. So this is the way that Chef Cheeto and his team found uh, the, the right way to do it and, and the perfect way to give them that experience. Michelle, what I like about it is, uh, you know, in the so-called traditional brunch setting, you're right, you have people lining up, but then there's something that I never really thought about before the pandemic is, like, we're all touching these utensils, right? You, me, Joe, everybody, that guy I didn't know who's from, you know, wherever is touching it. His kid touched the face and then he touched the thing. And so this kind of really seems right. like a way to, to mitigate that that uh risk and it's you know it's crazy that we used to do it all the time and now that i think about it it's kind of like seems like calacus you know that we're all touching the same kind of utensils yeah i like that you bring that up because i thought about that too and when we were conceptualizing this buffet we were thinking you know pre-covid we weren't we weren't as cautious as we are now i mean this just builds a better culture for us as an island right just as a world period so um covid really amplified all the all the things that we do and we take for granted. So um, I really think this is gonna be a great experience for everyone. I'm really proud of the team that they came up with this. And we're hoping that if it if it's uh, received well by our customers, that we can continue to offer this kind of service for all the brunches to come for the rest of the year. Right, it's called a brought to you uh, buffet. As you can see, we popped up the graphics here. Uh, and my girl Chamarita Regis, Michelle commenting in, do we have to make reservations? And are you having, yes. are you having the same thing yes. for Mother's Day is what people are asking already. Well, that is our hope, um, you know, so we're, we're gonna see where, this is a pilot, so we're gonna see how this works out for us. Um, I have confidence in the team that, you know, they will bring you that experience. So the, we will have two seatings. Our first seating will be at 10 a.m. And, and at 12 p.m. And our second seating is at 12.30 to 2.30 p.m. Um, I'll give all of that information to you, Chris, before we leave. Um, but yes, yeah, you are recommended to uh, book your seatings because it is limited, seats are limited. All right. Uh, tell us a little bit about this uh, mini fun fair. This is great uh, for, you know, obviously Easter family thing. People are going to be bringing kids. Right. When we were talking about uh, just the, the buffet, I said, well, what are you going to offer the children? Because we all know that Easter is driven by, you know, the egg hunt and all that great stuff. But 
Unfortunately, Leo Palace, we're not going to be doing an egg hunt. So I said, okay, let's think of something else. So we're going to have a mini fun fair right in our Mika Lobby Lounge. It is on the ground floor. So um, if you're familiar with Leo Palace, if you walk down those two sets of steps, the big lobby lounge that's just right on the ground floor, yeah. we will have a setup of about uh, four to five little uh, games of chance for the kids to play. And these are exclusively for our little brunch guests. Um, so when they're done eating, they can come out, they can play um, with each child reservation. They will get five uh, free Leo dollars to play these games. And then there's, if they want to play more, they can purchase more Leo dollars at Italiano where the brunch will be. Right. Let's talk a little bit about the, uh, the menu uh, for Easter uh, brunch, Michelle. Okay. What do you want to know? <laughs> well, uh, you know, I'm, I'm uh, laying off the carbs a little bit. So let's start with the meats, the meats, okay. because, you know, for a lot of people, they give up. Some people give up the meats during the Lent, right? Some people, they do the fishy Friday thing, but I know meats hit hard on uh, Easter brunch. Okay, so from the grill, we'll have barbecue chicken, Korean barbecue short ribs, pork ribs, <laughs> right? Don't yeah. everyone is just that's it. You had me at Korean barbecue. Yeah, you short did. Ribs, honestly, right? you did. <laughs> um, we have some spiced salmon kebabs, vegetable skewers, pork ribs, uh, and then our carving is primary roast. Wow. Um, and then we just have a, a variety of like Japanese favorites, be breakfast favorites, a pizza selection. Nice. You got your appetizers and your starters and your desserts. Yeah. So. We popped up the, the menu up here, guys. Uh, and, and Michelle, the uh, reservation info, right? And so there's two seatings on Easter Sunday. Right. So how do people uh, call? Is it a, you got a phone number? Yes. 671-300-7180. Uh, just in case they miss it here, um, you know, they can check out our Instagram and our Facebook. It is posted. Oh, nice. What's your Instagram? Um, Leo underscore palace Guam uh, underscore Guam. Sorry. Hey, Stefan, follow Leo uh, underscore. <laughs> yes. Leo underscore palace. Got it. Underscore Guam. Oh, let me follow back. I didn't even know you're following me, girl. Don't step on my Zori. Wow. There you go. <laughs> so you guys can uh, follow. It's a uh, Leo underscore uh, palace. Uh, and then there's a Guam in there. You uh, check that out uh, for all the info uh, reservations. The menu looks amazing. There's something going on uh, for the kids. And I think it's a great return. Sorry, Chris. Yes. Can I just add one more thing? The most yes. important thing. Please. I want to just let the public know that um, we want to thank our sponsors, Heineken, for being, you know, for partnering up for us, partnering up with us. Uh, so part of our menu is bottomless Heineken. Oh, that should have started with that. Sorry. Sorry. Michelle. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I got you. <laughs> bottomless Heineken, guys and ladies. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much. There you go. So that sounds like an awesome uh, Easter brunch. Uh, Chamarita says, great. Save me a seat. We'll pop up that info for reservations again. Uh, Michelle, thanks for, for stopping by and let us know on that uh, Mother's Day. huh? Of course. Thank you guys for having me. And, you know, just give us a call when you're ready to book. Right on. Thank you, Michelle. All right. Thank you. Have a great day. Go on. You too. Jordan, your rules. Leo Palace starting up their uh, brunch again uh, for Easter. I'm really feeling this Easter, guys. I might have said this last year, but it's more true this year, you know, because Easter, redemption, rebirth, right? Renewal. I'm feeling it now that we're on this low risk COVID status and there's no outdoor limit, right? Uh, so I don't know. I think this Easter is going to be a good one uh, for the people of Guam. It's 723. Uh, good morning on you guys, Facebook Live. Let's go ahead, sir. I want to get into this uh, the session from yesterday uh, as senators... Uh, met um, really just to place resolution 291 on the agenda, which they did. Uh, well, I'll say successfully, but I wanted to play this clip because it kind of just really shows, well, it's session and it's uh, very entertaining and informative. And in and, and this uh, clip, which is a pretty lengthy one, uh, we're going to show you just how um, lengthy the actual process, because, you know, if you, if you don't watch session or you don't know about all the, rules and motions and all the things that they got to do the procedures the protocols i mean there's a lot of times there's a lot of like gamesmanship i mean it's like a chess match right and 
you know, outside looking in, I know before I started covering legis the legislature, I thought it was something as simple as like, I want to put this on the agenda, but it's.